Hi, welcome to my second tutorial on the urban network analysis and in this tutorial we look at importing networks um, which we're using PEDCATCH um, and importing into Rhino 6 and using QGIS to um, change the file type. So our first step is to go to pedestrian catch which is pedcatch.com and we want to search for our location, which is Dantinong. So the great thing about this is that it comes up with networks. Um, and for um, the use of comparison as well, it's the same area that comes up with each location. Um, so it's great for that. So what we want to do is to download the GeoJSON ways in Dandenong. And that's all we need to do in the ped catch. So we'll go now to QGIS. So we've opened up QGIS and what we want to do is find our downloaded um, PEDCATCH GeoJSON and drag into where it says new MD project. Um, so this is showing um, our ways within Dandenong. So the main reason that we're importing into QGIS is to get it into a file type that is supported by Rhino, as well as making sure that the um, coordinate system matches all the other um, all the other data sets that we are using for the urban network analysis. So on the PEDCATCH um, layer, we want to right click and choose export and save feature as. We want to make sure that it's an AutoCAD DXF and choose a area to um, save this to. I'm going going to call it Dandenong Waste. And this is one of the important points is choose your coordinate reference system. So I chose the EPSG 3857 because that's what OpenStreetMaps uses and I want to um, match all of my data points to what OpenStreetMap data we might have in the file. So select the coordinate reference system you want to use and press OK. Um, and it should be good to just click OK from there. So we'll move on to the next point because we've successfully um, saved our vector layer. Um, and so we'll move over to Rhino. So I've opened up the Rhino file that we imported our fresh produce um, data points into from our last tutorial. Um, I'll just switch those off. But what we want to do is go to File and Import and find the ways that we just um, exported out of QGIS. Um, so that's as an AutoCAD drawing and click Open. So ensure you have these three top boxes um, ticked and that you're matching the settings that your file is set up as and click OK. So now we have our networks imported into our, our folder, our file, sorry. Um, and what's important is that all of the um, different lines need to be separated, so not all joined together. And they need to, where there's an intersection, they needs to have an, um, a point of connection there. Um, so just ensure that that is what your file is imported as and the ped catch data should import in this way if you use QGIS. So we can see if we turn off on our fresh produce layer because they're using the same coordinate reference system, um, they're actually located in the correct spots in this file as well, which is Great. <laughs> um, so that's one way in which to get your network or your, um, your ways 
um, pedestrian ways into um, Rhino. And I'll cover a different way using Grasshopper, how to get your, uh, your street networks in as well. Um, but I found this is the most simple way. So that concludes my um, second tutorial on ur urban network analysis, which covers setting up a network from PedCatch. Uh, see some of the other tutorials on further information on how to use the urban network analysis plugin in Rhino.